guys, welcome back to another video. This is Infinite Future, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Wolfred's Bike Park. In this game, there's a lot of, um, like, how would I say it? Like, almost like tweaks that you can make to your riding to make it better. But I'm just going to go over the basic, um, basics of how to play and um possibly how to um make yourself more fluent fluid fluid okay and so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is open the save stats after, what the heck am i saying open the help menu and then click on whichever one you need we're gonna look at, um, well first let's just go over how you play. So, it's pretty simple. It'll, you'll go through a tutorial in the beginning, but if you still need help, just come to this video. What you're going to do is you're gonna click to spawn bike. This is just a bike that you, I chose at the beginning, but you not a great bike. And you can always go to the bike shop to customize your bike, which I'll go over in a little bit. But on here, what you're gonna do is you can click D to move the handlebars to that side, A to the other, pretty simple. W to move forwards, S to move back. W to move forwards, S to move back. And to turn, and ride, just click W and B or W and A, whichever one you like. Now, I'm going to go over a little bit more onto how you're going to be riding on the trails. So, when you use your bike, um, what you have to do, geez, it won't let me go backwards. Oh, it won't even let me ride the bike anymore. Okay, yeah, when you get off of a bike, sometimes they have a mind of their own and they just start going different places. Sometimes you can't get back on them, apparently. So, here's what you do. You can deter. It's, I'd suggest when you're going around a berm, which is one of those things, it's like a curb and there's like a wall on the side. What you wanna do is use K and H. Actually, I'm not completely sure that, so for some reason I feel like my computer's messed up, but I don't think it really is. So, K. To tilt right, H to tilt left, K and E to turn, and um, right, um, A and H to turn left. But when you're going around a berm, you only want to either hold it a tiny bit or click it. Just a little. Not enough that you hit the ground, but just maybe if you, if it's a big berm, you might want to go almost to the ground. Because you go to the ground, it like flips you around and you just do crazy stuff. To move, to flip backwards, you're gonna click J. You can click, it says that you can click K to balance a wheelie. I guess maybe you can. I don't think you can because it literally doesn't work. But that's, here, this is the wheelie. And I fell over, so it's not really a wheelie because I fell over. Whatever, and how I just did that, like I said, was you click J, and to flip forward, you click U. So, that's just a little bit more info. And also, you're going to want to turn when, uh, uh, what am I even saying? Yeah, of course you're gonna wanna turn. And so that's really gonna help the K and the H. It does say, if you go to the help window and you click cornering, it says, a and H, A, H, J, A. Try to perfect that, I guess. I really don't do that. I just do A and H, or I guess you're turning right, D, and K. But, I don't know. And maybe you try and perfect this jumping. I'm just going to leave what it says right here. In order to jump, ride off a jump, such as the one pictured below, with edit. Adequate speed, adequate speed to catch air. The longer and higher you jump, the 
more mons you get. To land a jump more smoothly, you tap U after leaving the left to aim your bike towards the land. Okay. And there's actually more information than you think there. So the first thing, you do want to have enough speed. If you don't have enough speed, it ruins your whole line because you miss the jump and then you can't really do anything. You may have seen in some of my videos, if I've been doing a jump, you might see I missed the landing, but I, um, what's it called? I don't even remember what it's called, but when you miss the landing, you go too far backwards. You don't go far enough forwards. That I do sometimes, but, um, now there's a lot of different things you can do to make your riding better. I mean, also, for example, there are tricks that you can do right here. Turn bar A or D, tabletop or whip. I mean, that's some stuff that you can do. Y or I for 360. Y, I, okay. Yeah. And then there's something else that you might want to do that can make your riding a little bit better. Try the green trails because as you might try them here and be like, oh, these are actually the hardest because they're so thin. That's good. You'll actually be able to perfect your riding even more by learning how to go towards the middle and really stay on the trail. It might take some getting used to, like if you've seen any of my videos, I fly off the trail all the time. That's okay. Just keep trying. You will get better. I have a friend. He's amazing. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just try to do what makes you feel happy because that's what you really want to do. Unless you're flying off the trail all the time. Don't do that. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, I guess we'll get some gameplay in. So let's go to the top. Oh, and yeah, to go to the top of the mountain, click the trail map, and click blue, because that's the lift that you're going to start with. And here's the trail, Lower Vegas. The easiest one is on the other side, if you turn, oh, and my bike lagged. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Sometimes your bike will just lag right when you spawn it. And keep in mind, this is an open beta game, it's not really a game on Roblox yet, it's still in beta. Alright, which trail should we do? Let's do Route 66. Hopefully I'm better. See? I'm not that good. Okay. Oh yeah, and sometimes your bike won't be able to get back on the trail, which kind of sucks. I bet that they'll fix that. I bet that they'll make some way for your bike to stay on the trail somehow. And the full game. Well, not really the full game because you're on Roblox, but I don't know. There's... I guess it's still technically the full game, whatever. So here we're going to go down here. And also, you don't hold W while you're riding. But if you want to go slow, you can tap W. And see, this is what I was talking about with the jumps. Yeah, see, the jumps are pretty hard. Alright. I'll do one more run. I guess. This time, oh, I'm on someone else's bike. Wow, okay. So let's spawn in my bike. And we'll ride over to check in. Okay. Okay, actually, I think I'm going to wrap up the video right there. That was a pretty good video. Hope it helped you out. And I'll
I'll see you in the next one. This is Infinite Future, signing off.